Florida, where accused Parkland shooter Nicholas Cruz, who's charged with killing 17 people and injuring 17 others in 2018, has pled guilty. Despite the guilty plea, prosecutors have indicated the death penalty is not off the table. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. To count one of the indictment, murder in the first degree of victim Luke Hoyer. How do you wish to plead? Guilty. One by one, 23-year-old Nicholas Cruz pleading guilty to 17 counts of murder and 17 counts of attempted murder in a Florida courtroom Wednesday morning. I am very sorry for what I did, and I have to live with it every day. And I am doing this for you, and I do not care if you do not believe me. The pleas come with no conditions, and prosecutors still plan on seeking the death penalty, but this would spare families of the victims from enduring a likely lengthy trial. Cruz was also asked a long list of questions to assess his mental competency. Are you having any difficulty uh, understanding anything that's going on here today? No, I understand what's going on. Officials say Cruz returned to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School over a year after being expelled, armed with an AR-15 rifle, gunning down 14 students and three staff members. 17 other people were also injured. White male, burgundy shirt, wearing a black hat, and either long black pants or shorts, he mixed in with a group of students that were running westbound. 17-year-old Joaquin Oliver was one of the victims. His father telling ABC News whether Cruz gets life or death won't change his pain. It's not even close to what uh, the worst punishment this guy will receive. So I think that justice will be just ending the chapter. Twelve jurors will ultimately determine whether Cruz should be sentenced to death or life in prison without parole. Given the case's notoriety, the judge is planning to screen thousands of prospective jurors. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.